What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt Portwood and today we're going to be talking about how to build healthy plates to maximize your weight loss. Now, I'm not just going to show you how to build healthy plates myself. Instead, what I'm gonna do today is go a step further and I'm actually gonna introduce you to seven of my current clients who are at various stages throughout their weight loss journey, some just starting, some nearing the end of their journey and I'm gonna show you their results and then I'm gonna show you and break down exactly what they're eating with their own pictures of their own meals that they eat every single day. I'm gonna break down how they lay out their meals, their meal timing, everything client by client, so that hopefully as we go through this video today, there will be one of these seven clients who maybe is like you. They're a similar age, started in a similar weight group, and you're going to attach yourself to one of those people because they're like you, and then you can see exactly what they're eating to get these results so that you can go and implement that in your own life. So we're gonna go through these seven clients, show you exactly how they're doing it so that you can find one of those and then go implement that in your own life. Now, real quick before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want so you don't miss our future videos. We're putting out videos every week, so if you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button right next to the subscribe button, you'll get notifications when we release our next video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into our first client, Aaron. Now, Aaron is a very special and exciting story because today, the actual day that I am filming this video, Aaron just hit his final goal today of 90 pounds lost. He had a starting weight of 280 pounds. His current weight today is 190 pounds. He lost 90 pounds over 29 weeks for an average weight loss of 3.1 pounds per week for 29 weeks straight. And you can see here in his weight loss graph just how smooth and consistent his weight loss journey was. He didn't have any big plateaus along the way. He was super consistent in his day-to-day -day food with not a lot of variety. Boring equals successful as you've heard me mentioned in my last video or the one before that. Very consistent and you can see by his weight loss, his consistency really paid off. So you'll see in this next slide here that Aaron follows a very basic three meal and two snack foundational layout that we use with most of our clients when they start out. He eats breakfast, lunch, and dinner and he has a couple of snacks in between those meals to keep him feeling full and satiated throughout the day. So let's jump into Aaron's breakfast and go through that. So Aaron's breakfast is very simple. In fact, he only ate the same breakfast every single day for six months, which is not something we require of our clients at all. But our clients can eat as many different options for breakfast as they need to. But Aaron decided that he wanted to be incredibly consistent, remove all of the variables so that he could make progress as quickly as possible. So he ate the same breakfast every day. And what you're seeing in this picture is a bowl of fat-free Greek yogurt with a little bit of uh, oatmeal on top with some berries and some carrots. So he has protein in his fat-free Greek yogurt. He has oatmeal and berries for his carbohydrates. And there's a half serving of the of the oatmeal and the berries and then he has the carrots for his vegetables so protein carb and vegetable in his breakfast if we move on to Aaron's lunches you'll see he has uh, some different options but they all look very similar at the same time so you'll see that he has a protein option in every picture so he's got some pork loin in one picture some lunch meat in another picture some shrimp in one of his pictures he's got a, a, a turkey burger in another picture but his plates all look very similar he has a perfectly fist-sized portion of rice in almost every picture. He has a plethora of vegetables in almost every picture. He has his peppers, his pickles, um, his cherry tomatoes that he really likes. So every single picture is very consistent. You'll notice he's very diligent about portioning his carbs to be about the size of his fist. His protein servings are about the size of his, uh, size of his palm, which if you remember our first video, we talked about how to portion your proteins, carbs, and fats. So if you missed that video, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But it's very consistent how Aaron builds his lunches. Protein, carb, vegetable, all perfectly portioned. Next, we'll get into Aaron's dinners. Now, Aaron's dinners also look very similar with one small change, and that is that he swapped his rice out for a serving of two tablespoons of peanut butter. So he swapped his carb out for a fat. So each of his dinner meals has a protein properly portioned, a fat properly portioned, and vegetables. And he uses a lot of the same vegetables. So you'll see his he has lunch meat in one picture for his protein. He has... Uh, it looks like some chicken breast, another turkey burger, some different vegetables in there. But again, you can look at his plate and you can really see how he portions following the palm size for protein, fist size for his carbs and his lunches. And he follows a very, very precise measurement for his fat when he's measuring out a fat like peanut butter. Because if you don't measure those out, you can really plateau yourself by going overboard with something like peanut butter. So he's really good about measuring that out. Great job, Aaron. Next, you'll see Aaron's snacks. So Aaron only has a couple of snacks that he 
or his go-tos. He likes to snack on turkey jerky and he likes to snack on shrimp, which shrimp are just one of the leanest proteins that you can get. So shrimp and a little bit of uh, some cherry tomatoes there and some homemade cocktail sauce. Great high protein snacks there with Aaron. All right, guys. And then last but not least for Aaron, you have his restaurant picks. So when Aaron goes out to eat, he's a big fan of Mexican food, as you can see. So he likes to go to uh, Qdoba and get a salad bowl or a burrito bowl. As you can see, he has some vegetables there. There's some chicken underneath. So he has lettuce and peppers for his vegetables. He has chicken underneath for his protein. And he has a very small serving of guacamole for his healthy fat for his restaurant pick there. He also likes to go to the restaurant, Mexican restaurant a lot and get fajitas. So he'll buy this nice uh, platter of chicken fajitas. And what he'll do is he'll cut that in half and he'll eat half. He'll either get chicken fajitas or sometimes he'll get a, a, a chicken fajita salad, which is, I think, what we see in this picture. And he'll cut that in half, eat half, take the other half home. And then here for his last pick is a Jimmy John's Hunwich, a, a really great option, low carb option to get when you're out in running around eating at restaurants. All right, guys, that's it for Aaron. Congratulate Aaron on his reaching of his goal of 90 pounds. Next, we'll move on to Kayla. Now, Kayla is our first female client for the day. Kayla is relatively new to our program. She's been with us for nine weeks. She started at a weight of 157. She's currently at a weight of 132. She has about 10 to 12 more pounds to go. She's lost 24.1 pounds in nine weeks at an average weight loss of 2.67 pounds per week. And you can see her before and after pictures so far for her journey right there. And you can also see her weight loss graph here. It's a lot, it's sort of easier to see the ups and downs on hers because she hasn't been in the program as long as we're not as zoomed out on her weight loss graph. So, uh, but still a great looking graph, nice solid trend there with her graph. Next, we'll look at how she lays out her meals. What's interesting about Kayla is she's in a much lower weight range than say Aaron was, and she's a female. So what Kayla likes to do is she likes to skip breakfast and skip her snacks. And Kayla typically just eats lunch and dinner. Sometimes her lunch is more like a snack in that it's a smaller size. It's a, it's, it's just a little bit of protein, like some cottage cheese or, or some kind of meat. But sometimes she'll have a full size lunch and a dinner. But for the most part, she's only eating twice. She's eating a lunch or a snack and then her dinner. So let's look at her breakfast. Like I said, Kayla doesn't really eat breakfast, but she does have coffee with some low calorie creamer in it. For her lunches and her snacks, you can see a lot of interesting items here. So she's got, like I said, she tends to stick to just protein and vegetables for her lunches, which is why they are reminiscent of what we recommend for a snack a lot of the time. They're relatively small. She has some cottage cheese with some tomatoes. She has some salad with some very lean uh, beef there. She's got cottage cheese with some cucumbers and carrots. And then in one instance, she just has a serving of cottage cheese. So high in protein, nice vegetables at most of these, uh, but not a huge meal for Kayla for her lunchtime meal. And then we get to her dinners and same thing. She's not eating a huge volume of food, but her dinners are probably the biggest meal of the day. Now, normally we don't recommend eating carbohydrates at your dinner time, but since Kayla skips her breakfast, since she skips most of her snacks, Kayla is able to get away with eating carbohydrates at dinner and not having them impact her progress as much. So you can see in most of her pictures here, she has some kind of meat. She's got beef in a couple of pictures. Looks like a burger on the far right, a small piece of what looks like sirloin there, second from the right. Uh, she's got some tacos there with some low calorie tortillas, and she's got some chicken breast there on the far left. And then she combines that with um, some salad, occasionally some roasted potatoes and carrots or other vegetables. And then she also um, has some tomatoes and some things like that. Okay, so protein, carb, and vegetables in her dinners, all nicely portioned, right? You're still seeing nice palm-sized portions of protein and fist-sized portions of carbohydrates. And then veggies, she's eating a little bit more of because those are kind of like what we treat as free foods in our program, okay? So that's Kayla's dinners. Next, we have restaurant picks from Kayla. So she also loves Mexican food. A lot of my clients love Mexican food. And so she goes out and she does a lot of the same things that Aaron does. She gets fajitas. She eats half. She, um, she'll get a salad with some grilled chicken. And sometimes she'll go to Qdoba and she'll get a burrito bowl with some rice and vegetables and chicken. Okay. And as always, a lot of times we, we recommend to all our clients when you're going out to eat at a restaurant and you, and you order something, it's going to be higher in calorie by virtue of the way it's cooked. So we recommend that you eat half and that's what Kayla does. 
does in a lot of these instances. Let's move on to Terry. Now, Terry has been with us a little bit longer than Kayla. She's been with us about 12 weeks. She had a starting weight of 255.2 pounds. And as of today, she is down to 215. So she's lost 40.2 pounds in 12 weeks at an average weekly weight loss of 3.35 pounds per week, which is awesome. Great job, Terry. And you can see that in her weight loss graph as well. Nice and steady, no plateaus moving right along. And then when you look at how Terry likes to lay out her meals and her snacks, she likes to eat three meals a day, but she does not snack. This is one of our clients who she just doesn't prefer to snack. So she likes to eat breakfast, she likes to eat lunch, she likes to eat dinner, but she doesn't feel the need to snack between her meals. So she doesn't do that. Here looking at Terry's breakfast, she has pretty much the same breakfast every single morning. She's kind of like Erin in that regard. She's very consistent with her breakfast. She has some egg whites and then one piece of toast and then some, looks like some cherry tomatoes down there. For Terry's lunches, she follows our typical recommendation for lunch in that she has a serving of protein, a serving of carbohydrate and some vegetables with each of her meals. So you can see here in one of them, she has one slice of bread on the far left with some tuna on top and then some tomatoes. In her picture next to that one, she has a chicken breast with some uh, sliced vegetables and then she has some strawberries for her carbohydrate. And then in the next one, she has some cottage cheese, some tomatoes, and again, some strawberries for her carbohydrate. She, you can tell she really likes her berries. And then in the last one here, she just has a small piece of looks like ground beef, lean ground beef, probably 96 for, uh, 96% fat, 4%, or I'm sorry, 96% lean, 4% fat ground beef with some tomatoes and some strawberries. So nice portions. She does a great job. Her, her bigger portions are with her vegetables. She keeps her carbohydrates and her proteins properly portioned. Great job, Terry. Next, we have her dinners. And here, what she has done, just like Erin, she swaps her carbohydrate out and she has protein, vegetables, and fat for her dinner, which is our recommendation for all of our clients. So here on the left, she has her chicken with some steamed broccoli and some celery with a serving of peanut butter. She has some egg whites in the next picture with a quarter cup of nuts and then some, looks like maybe some peppers and or tomatoes. And then she has a nice salad in the next picture with some grilled chicken and again, a quarter cup of nuts. And then in the last picture here, she has some lean ground beef, made it a basically a homemade taco salad with a quarter cup of nuts. So very consistent across all of her pictures and how she's portioning and how she's building her meals. And then again, Terry does not snack throughout the day. So she just relies on her meals. They fill her up and they keep her sustained throughout the day. She does not snack. And then here we have Terry's restaurant picks. So she has a few options here. She likes to go to, if she's out and about and she's in a hurry, she goes to Chick-fil-A and she'll get some grilled chicken nuggets with their fruit bowl. And then she also loves Mexican like almost all of my clients do. She too likes to go to the Mexican restaurant and get some fajitas and eat half. And then there's a local restaurant here in town that serves a really nice uh, lunch item with grilled chicken and a side salad. And so those are her go-tos for her restaurant picks. Great job, Terry. Let's move on to Dobin. Now Dobin is really interesting to me because Dobin is actually Aaron's best friend. And Aaron inspired Dobin to jump into our program and get started. But Dobin has only been with us for four weeks so far. He had a starting weight of 322.9. His current weight as of today is 297.2. He's lost 25.7 pounds in four weeks at an average weekly weight loss, get this guys, of 6.43 pounds per week. Now it's not often that a client um, has that high of a rate of weight loss per week, but occasionally it happens. This won't be sustainable long-term. This will slow down for Dobin, but right now he's taking full advantage of that momentum. And what's awesome and the reason I included Dobin in this video is because Dobin did exactly what I hope that you guys do watching this video, right? He saw his friend getting great results. He joined our program, but he communicated with his friend, Aaron, and they eat virtually the same things. When, when I go down here and I show you his meals, they're going to look very strikingly similar in a lot of circumstances to Aaron's meals. And you'll see that it just kicked right in and he started losing weight, okay? Now Dobin is exercising and all of my clients are exercising, but what's really driving their results is the food. So let's dive in. Dobin follows the same meal format that Aaron does. He eats three meals and two snacks most days. Occasionally he does skip a snack here and there, but for the most part, he, he, he follows that very basic format. Diving into Dobin's breakfasts, he is like Aaron. He almost always eats some fat-free Greek yogurt in the morning with some berries and some carrots. He just chooses to have a higher serving of berries than Aaron does, and he omits the oatmeal, but it's very, very simple. Um, he also occasionally makes a scramble with um, egg beaters or egg whites and peppers and onions and other vegetables. And then he has his carbohydrate with 
his strawberries. So those are Dobin's breakfasts. Next, we'll get into his lunches. So you look at Dobin's lunches, and again, they're very similar to Aaron's. Very nicely portioned. He has a protein in every lunch. He has a carbohydrate in every lunch and vegetables in every lunch. So he has some homemade uh, fried rice in that first picture with some white fish and uh, looks like some steamed or roasted vegetables. In picture two, he has boiled eggs where he has removed the yolk of the eggs and replaced it with very lean tuna. And then he has his vegetables and he added some berries for his carbohydrate. And then he has a, a sandwich that is only has only has one slice of bread for his carbohydrate. He has peppers and tomatoes for his vegetable and there looks to be maybe a, uh, a piece of chicken or uh, that might be actually be pork tenderloin on his sandwich there. And then in his last picture, he has some shrimp, vegetables, and some berries for his carbohydrate and some homemade cocktail sauce. Again, pay attention to his portioning. All of his proteins, all of his carbs, his proteins are right about a palm-sized portion of protein, right about a fist-sized portion of carbohydrates. Everything looks really good here. Great job, Dovin. For his dinners, same thing. He They all look very similar, but the only difference here, just like Aaron, is that he has swapped out his carbohydrate for a healthy fat in his peanut butter. So he has, in that first picture there, he has a piece of white fish with some scallops and some roasted broccoli. And you can't see it, but he has some peanut butter off camera here in this picture. And then in the next one here, same thing. He has, a, it looks like a piece of uh, maybe some tuna filet with some roasted vegetables. His peanut butter is off camera in this picture as well. This next one, he has some chicken breast with uh, pickles and, or that might be cucumbers and carrots. And then he has a little dollop of fat-free Greek yogurt. And he's now mixing his perfectly portioned peanut butter with his fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt. And that's a, a, he says it's a really good tasting dessert for him. And then the last picture here, uh, more shrimp with his vegetables and then a very perfectly portioned one quarter cup of nuts for his fat. So protein, fat, vegetable, all perfectly portioned. Great job, Dobin. For his snacks, very simple snacks. He sticks to either a single serving of something like cottage cheese, as you see there on the left, or in his middle picture here, he has a single serving of Greek yogurt, fat-free Greek yogurt with some vegetables, and then some celery with some tuna from a tuna pack there on the right. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Dobin, so far, he's, he's new to the program, so he doesn't really eat out at restaurants. So we don't have any examples of restaurant picks for Dobin yet. Maybe we'll have some in the future, but so far Dobin, and I think that's part of the reason Dobin is having such great results is because he's not eating out. He's really controlling his food and being consistent at home. So great job, Dobin. Next we have Susan. Now Susan's been with us for 18 weeks. She started at a weight of 174. Her current weight today is 143.2. So she's at 30.8 pounds loss at a lower average weekly weight loss of 1.7 one pounds. But the great thing about Susan is that when she came to me, she basically said she'd tried a lot. She'd tried pretty much everything, but nothing had really stuck. And so for her to still be able to lose 1.71 pounds per week for her in her weight loss range, she's really happy with that. So great job, Susan. Your results look great. Your weight loss graph here looks really good so far. 18 weeks of great progress, and I can't wait to see where you go next. Here with Susan's meals, she tends to skip breakfast, and she pretty much always always eats dinner, but it's there's it's hit and miss what Susan will eat throughout the day. It really depends on what Susan is doing that day. Sometimes she'll eat two snacks and two meals. Sometimes she'll just eat two snacks in a, in a dinner. Sometimes she won't have any snacks and she'll just have lunch and dinner. So I want you guys to know it's a bit hit and miss when it comes to Susan's meals just because her schedule varies in what she's doing. But she typically eats three to four times uh, depending on what she's doing that day. Now here are some of Susan's breakfast. You'll see um, in one of the pictures here, this looks like some uh, egg whites and maybe some uh, some ham of some kind. And then in the other picture here on the right, this is actually um, a recipe in our cookbook that we give our clients for protein pancakes. That is it's probably the favorite recipe in our entire cookbook. Uh, but she made those. And that's what's in that Tupperware there. So those are her kind of go-tos. If she eats breakfast, those are some of her go-tos there. For Susan's lunches, uh, you'll see she follows the same basic format that we recommend for most of our clients, which is a protein protein, a carbohydrate, and a vegetable for her lunches. So there in the left, she has some chicken breast, very nicely portioned. She has some spaghetti squash, which we do count as a carbohydrate with our clients. And then she has some broccoli. Then in the next one, she has some, some chicken with barbecue sauce, some potatoes, and some vegetables. Then she has some shrimp and rice and mushrooms in the next one. And then sometimes, depending on what she's doing, she will just have a meal replacement shake, which is just primarily protein. So those are her lunch options. Very simple. For Susan's dinners, she she tends to eliminate any carb or extra fat for her dinner. So 
they are kind of reminiscent of a snack, but they're a little bit bigger in volume. So we don't really look at them as snacks, but you can see she has, so you know, some chicken and vegetables and a couple of these. In the second one, she has some fish and some spinach. There she has a, uh, looks like a salad with some chicken or tuna. I can't tell which that is. And then on the one on the far right, I know that is a salad with some chicken. So Susan being someone who loses weight or tends to lose weight slower than the average person or finds weight loss more difficult, she finds it successful for her to only have a carbohydrate, maybe one serving of carbohydrate or fat a day, and she keeps the rest of her meals to be just protein and vegetables for the most part. If she's just having a snack, you'll see here she just sticks to protein for the most part. So maybe a piece of meat or some cottage cheese and a little bit of meat on the side or just a, a protein shake or meal replacement shake if she's having a snack. And that is it for Susan. Great job, Susan. You're off to a great start. Keep up the good work. Next, we have Stacy, and Stacy is another client of mine who just hit her goal weight of 150. So she was actually in our program for 40 weeks before she hit her goal. And she is, like Susan, someone who tends to lose at a slower rate and, and someone who weight loss is harder for her than the average person. Doesn't mean it's impossible. Now, when she came to me, that's one of the things that she said is this feels impossible. But uh, we got her into the program and she started having success and she stuck with it, even though it was slower than some of the other clients. And now she's at her goal weight. Started at 196.4, ended at 150 pounds, 46.4 pounds lost. Congratulations, Stacy. Your weight loss graph looks awesome as well. Now, when we look at Stacy's meals and how she likes to time her meals, Stacy typically only eats twice throughout the day. So it's either two meals or one meal and a snack, right? She doesn't eat the full format like most of our clients, which is probably wise because weight loss, like I said, does is harder to achieve for her, okay? So if we dive into Stacy's breakfasts, she tends to eat, you know, if she does eat breakfast, this is kind of her go-to breakfast, some egg whites with maybe either, it looks like some mushrooms or maybe a little bit of sausage in there, one slice of toast and some berries for her carbohydrate. If we dive into her lunches and snacks, again, you'll see that Stacy's meals aren't very big. And I think, again, that is, that is part of the reason she's been able to be successful is that she recognizes since weight loss is more difficult for her, she doesn't need to be overeating. So she has a protein shake some days, a meal replacement shake. She might have a protein bar some days as a snack instead of a meal. If she does have a lunch, sometimes it's just a couple of eggs with some mushrooms and a piece of toast or a salad with some chicken or some steak in it. For Stacy's dinners, which is one of the more consistent meals that she has every single day, she really likes to have some homemade tacos. So some meat and some vegetables on some very low carb tortillas. I believe those particular tortillas are two tortillas for 70 calories in case you're wondering. Um, she'll have maybe some uh, some chicken with some uh, roasted broccoli and that broccoli in that second picture does have some cheese on it. So that's her fat for the meal. And then she, in, in her next meal, she only has protein and veggies. Looks like she has some, uh, maybe some shaved ham or pork there and then some broccoli. And then she has a salad with some beef and some boiled eggs. So again, great job, Stacy. You were super consistent, very good at portioning your meals. Very nice. Next, let's move on to Terry. All right, now Terry is a mere 2.4 pounds from her goal weight. She started with us 44 weeks ago. She started at a weight of 219. She's currently at 142.4. She's lost 76.6 pounds. And oh my gosh, look at her before and after pictures. That is an incredible transformation. 1.74 pounds per week. Great looking weight loss graph there as well. Great job, Terry. Let's jump into how she eats every day. So Terry is one who typically eats breakfast and a late lunch, and she typically skips snacks most days. So just breakfast and a late lunch that kind of is between what most people would eat as lunch or dinner. It's kind of right smack dab in the middle, around three or four o'clock most days. So here's Terry's breakfast. She really likes to make that protein pancake uh, recipe from our cookbook that everybody likes to love. So that's what you see there on the left where she has the uh, protein carb and vegetable uh, for that recipe. And then there in the middle, she has some egg whites with some mushrooms. And then on the right, she likes to make some uh, cottage cheese with some cinnamon and maybe a little bit of steam to sweeten it up a little bit. And those are Terry's breakfast. Here you're gonna see with Terry, she's very, very consistent. She doesn't have a as much variety in her meals as some of the other clients do. For Terry's lunches, she pretty much always has a salad for her lunches or early dinners. So she'll have a salad with maybe some boiled eggs or she'll have a salad with some kind of tuna in it, um, very, depending on what flavor she's feeling that day. And then sometimes she'll just have a shake if she's feeling like she just needs a lighter day, okay? And then for Terry's dinner, 
dinners, um, if she, again, she's still eating that late lunch and dinner. So when I say dinners, I really mean, I'm talking about the same meal, but some days she eats a salad, some days she has something that is more in like what a dinner would be. And so when she's feeling in the dinner mood, this is what she has show. So she has maybe some white fish with some vegetables, some chicken stir fry with some vegetables. Uh, we have a recipe in our cookbook that is a honey mustard chicken that you see here in the second from the right with some vegetables. And then she likes to make a taco salad at home as well. So a lot of her meals here in the evening time, you'll notice that they really just have protein and vegetables uh, in most of them, okay? With maybe a little bit of fat. And then again, Terry doesn't snack. So um, I, I like to point out when, you know, anytime one of our clients doesn't snack, I like to point that out just so you can really have a full picture of what they eat every day, okay? And then last but not least, we get to Lori. Now Lori is, uh, is still relatively new to our program. She's been with us for 12 weeks and she was not ready to share her before and after pictures quite yet because she's not yet to her goal. So we won't show you her pictures yet, but I guarantee you we'll show those to you in the future when she gets to her goal. But her starting weight was 315, her current weight 273.2. So she's down 41.8 pounds in 13 weeks for a total of 3.22 pounds average weight loss per week. Holy smokes, that's awesome, Lori. Keep up the good work. Great looking weight loss graph getting started. Now, Lori uh, also doesn't eat the full complement of meals that some of our other clients do. Lori typically eats lunch and dinner with a snack in between, but sometimes she skips that snack in between. So a lot of times she eats all three, sometimes she just has lunch and dinner. So again, she skips breakfast, then she gets to her lunch. And for her lunches, she likes to have, uh, a lot of times she likes to have either Greek yogurt, fat-free Greek yogurt with some berries and carrots. You've seen that example in some of our other clients. And then you can also see here in the middle picture, she has some diced up grilled chicken with steamed rice and broccoli. And then she has some lunch meat with steamed rice and broccoli. So a little bit of a quicker, easier option for her in that other one. Then we get down to her dinners and you see a lot of the same thing, but again, she replaces her rice with a healthy fat at dinner. So now you see in picture number one, she has a very nicely portioned piece of white fish with broccoli. In her second picture, she has a nice portion of grilled chicken with Brussels sprouts. And in her last one, she has some grilled chicken in a salad. And for all three pictures, she has a perfectly portioned quarter cup of almonds. So protein, vegetable, fat, very, very simple. And that's one of the things I want you guys to realize as you go through this, guys, is you'll notice how simple it is to look at each one of my clients' plates and to be able to tell what they're eating and, and see their portions, right? The simpler your plate is and the easier it is for you to portion out, the more likely you're able to be consistent and have greater success. For Lori's snacks, she pretty much always goes with a single serving of fat-free Greek yogurt and some carrots. Although Lori doesn't eat her snack very often, I would say if I look back at Lori's record, she probably eats her snack maybe two or three days during the week. Other days, she's just having lunch and dinner as you guys saw earlier. And so that's it, guys. If you're like me and you're a visual learner, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button next to the subscribe button. And of course, hit the like button because YouTube likes that and I like that. But I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, please tell me in the comments below. I really like hearing from you guys in the comments. Tell me if there's other topics you want to hear about. But that's it for today. Guys, look at these pictures. Go through, find the client in this video that you relate to, the one that resonates with you. Look at their meal pictures and don't necessarily have to duplicate them, uh, you know, exactly as you see in the pictures, but learn from them. Look at their portions. Look at how many meals and snacks they're eating every day and then try to emulate what they're doing on a daily basis with their food. And I almost guarantee that you'll start to see some progress toward your weight loss goal as well. And as always, if you need help, if you need coaching to get you through this process faster, please don't hesitate to reach out to me uh, in the email down in the subscription. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for spending this much time with me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.